This single mom was devastated by a hateful note from a neighbor, but they didn't know the truth. As Ariel Harvey read the words written by a disgruntled neighbor, she felt her heartbreak. Apparently, they didn't like how her house looked. But then again, that neighbor didn't know the first thing about her tough life. Harvey's a single mother living in the aptly named Harvey Park neighborhood of Colorado. It's known for being a pleasant area to reside in, and Harvey herself has always been content raising her son there. Harvey Park is a great neighborhood, she told Nine News in June of 2017. It's got great schools, great people, it's filled with a lot of different activities like the Harvey Park Festival, libraries, and have all kinds of kids programs. However, unfortunately for Harvey, her feelings about Harvey Park had changed recently and that was all because of a note that she received in her mailbox. What it said, in fact, had left her feeling victimized and heartbroken. Harvey had gone to her mailbox one day to find a postcard inside. Although it was addressed only to HP resident, it was clearly meant for the single mother. What's more, as soon as Harvey began reading the message it carried, she realized that it wasn't friendly in the slightest. Quite the opposite. In fact, the postcard was short but incredibly rude. Not only did it address the state of the lawn in front of Harvey's house, but it was also full of terrible accusations and assumptions about Harvey herself. It read, You were in the running for the worst lawn in the neighborhood. Please put down the pipe, the bottle, the bong, the joint, the cigarettes, and please water the grass. Try killing a weed instead of smoking it. And the vitriol didn't stop there. The message continued, Your yard is an embarrassment to the neighborhood. You're hurting the value of homes. You did not win, but you are a loser. Understandably, Harvey simply couldn't believe she'd been targeted in this manner. But as the sender hadn't had the guts to include their name, she couldn't respond directly. So the mom instead turned to social media to vent her feelings. Consequently, she logged into Facebook and wrote a powerful post about the incident. And it turned out the thing that had gotten to her the most was that the cruel individual who wrote it clearly didn't know the first thing about Harvey's life struggles. Harvey wrote, I'm going to be honest here. I'm a single mom with an autistic three-year-old little boy and a deaf blind mom. At 24, I'm not only attempting to work three jobs to provide for my family, but I'm also trying to fight my depression and my eating disorder. After learning this about Harvey, most people would understand that she has greater priorities in life than keeping a perfectly maintained lawn. However, the postcard writer clearly hadn't been aware of any of these issues. In a bid to clear her name of the false accusations that have been leveled against her, Harvey then explained that she doesn't drink or smoke anything of the kind. Moreover, she decided that it was time to offer some advice to the mean-spirited neighbor who had made her ashamed to live in Harvey Park. She urged them to get the full story before you assume and make an ass out of yourself and the rest of the neighborhood. Lend a helping hand and be an actual neighbor. Not everyone can handle what life throws at them. Naturally, Harvey had been devastated by the postcard. In fact, she went on to tell Nine News that it had even reduced her to tears. It hurt, she admitted. I didn't see how someone could do that without talking to me and asking what was up, what was going on. However, there was a happy ending to Harvey's story. After people in the community read her honest Facebook post, they decided to pull together and do something special for the single mom. Indeed, a group of them met up, armed with gardening gloves and equipment, ready to take on the front lawn. Photos on Facebook showed the supportive neighbors getting their hands dirty and transforming the garden. And the lovely photograph subsequently attracted a lot of positive attention online. I wish everyone was as generous as these kind neighbors are. No one deserves this kind of abuse, one impressed Facebook user wrote. Now, those are true neighbors. Thank you for being good neighbors. God bless this family and all those who extended their helping hand, another commented. Hopefully, Harvey's faith in the neighborhood and its people has now been restored. And Harvey's story itself is both a heartbreaking and a heartwarming one. After all, it proves that for every cruel person out there, there will always be 10 kind ones willing to help out a neighbor in need. Please share this story with your friends below.